Moshi Moshi, my gamers, and welcome back to Zenless Zone Zero. I wonder how Lucy's secret investigation is going. Let's talk to Bella about the next step. Today, we're gonna continue doing Chapter 4. Hey, Ben! Let's talk to Wood. Hey, you are, guys. What's up? Talk about Lucy's request? Oh, yeah, I might have one. If you want, we can shut Lucy's investigation and ask her about how the investigation is going. Maybe we can help. Okay, I'll text her. Uh, Lucy's me. About 4. Hey Proxy, your time gonna be better. I was just about to message you. I got some clues. Hmm, did you find out who the snitch was? Pretty much, but it's kinda of tricky and pretty we're talking person. Maybe we'll know last time. I'm on my way. Okay, I'll be waiting. Okay, Lucy. I got told, so I'm going. Oh hey Bonnie! You stand there! I'm going slaying! Piper is here too. Does she know about whereabouts too? Oh, Proxy, it's you. Are you looking for Lucy? Uh, uh, nah, no, just one thing about it. No, just taking a stroll around the area. You go ahead. Ah, Proxy, you really know how to keep your mouth shut. That's good to know. I've said it before. If you can't keep a secret and are slow to react, you're not cut out to be a Proxy. Uh, Papa, were you testing me? Piper. Were you testing me just now? Sorry, sorry. But what comes next is crucial, and it's messier than we thought. Proxy, the suspicious individual was discovered by Piper. She'll fill you in on the details. Okay, she knows. Here's the deal. Ever since we've set up camp here, I've noticed something odd. Every time Blazewood ships out their handicrafts, Kasa always leaves town for two or three hours at night, carrying hollow gear with her. Since Lucy told me there might be a mole, one night, I pretended I couldn't sleep and talked to Casa when she was about to leave. She said she was out for a stroll because she also couldn't sleep. And then she just went back inside as if everything was normal. But an hour later, she snuck out of Blazewood again. Mm, that's really suspicious. Her behavior does seem quite bizarre. Ugh, this is terrible news. Casa's relationship with the Sons of Caledon goes back longer than I've been around. We set up camp here because of that trust. And to Caesar, Casa has always been like a big sister. Someone she can rely on. If she really has backstabbed us. Hmm. The bond between Blazewood and Sons of Caledon. The long-standing bond between Blazewood and the Sons of Caledon would be ruined. So, we have to investigate this discreetly. If we're right about this, we need to solve it without Caesar knowing. This is a tough situation. Like speeding downhill heading for a turn, but your brakes are out. But dwelling on the worst case scenario won't help. We have to roll with the punches. Cause that's how the Sons of Caledon do. Piper's right. Once a wild boar charges, there's no backing down. Proxy, I heard there's another shipment going out in a few days. Casa should follow her usual routine. We'll follow her at night and see what she's up to. Okay, the night at the buzzer should be has finally arrived. Just the way of town, right? Let's back up and get moving. Yeah, let's go. Alright, we're in the hollow. Hey, you know, how are things with Bernice and Caesar? How are things with Bernice and Caesar? I checked. Caesar's already asleep. That girl's got a routine like clockwork. And Bernice is all taken care of. I sparred with her the entire day to wear her out. You fuck her! Damn. Looks like tonight, the ethereals in the hollow won't taste my perfect one-hit KO. They got off lucky. Quit whining, Lighter. If you'd hidden the nitro fuel better, we wouldn't be in this mess. Alright, let's get moving. Only the three of us and the proxy can handle this now. The of us and the proxy? She got that ass! That people will stare at. Oh, NPC, that's interesting. Okay. Lucy. It's Casa! This way, quickly! Let's go! Oh! What up? What up? Get that shit. Get some hollow around here. I know the difference in the game, like, but I don't think the TV has much to do with the I actually like that the TV, but they take it up. It's completely fine. I just have five for my team. Let's see, that feels like an axe. Oh. Okay, slow. 
Because it had to up a level? Looks like this isn't the right way. You're telling me she probably went upwards. Is that right? Oh my god, that demon's back! Oh my god, she's doing a blade blade style! Why is there a bamboo down here? Also locked, I don't think it's about cuss or whatever. It's more difficult than my hand with us here. Let's try to ask the pony down. Yeah, ask the bamboo. Excuse me, oh bamboo. Uh, uh, what is your back, master? And oh my god, why are you behind her like that? Pushing her? Like you're trying to get that ass of yours, then? She looks younger. So stop it. What is your back, master? Uh, what a napping. Uh, huh? You're not muscle or you're doing point ear or a tail guy. Who the fuck are you? Cause access to check on the goods. Uh, the message actually come? The goods are fine. And the ether connection is low here, eh? It's all good. Um, What's in the cargo box? Uh, the order said they a bazaar master waiting for your buyers to come to pick them up. Master said we can't let them pick these up in town. Can't let them pick up a bazaar? Why not? Uh, I'm just a bad dude. What do I know? Hey, you did a good job. Shabby does a good job. Master always plays me too. If you're looking for Master, go through this fortress. It's hidden behind a stack of cargo boxes. Hidden behind a stack of cargo boxes? Okay, tracks. A box full of buzzy handcuffs with a mortal friend nearby. Supposedly it belongs to Casa. However, there is no first year around. Okay, uh, let's check here. Among the boxes, you know the full of somewhere with still a few of them, but there are no first year around. According to the bamboo, the tall guy or Took away something from you. What was that? And what did he take? Um, who did he take? Hey, look, a cargo box. I'm gonna take out some shit. And it's the exit. Let's go. Uh, before that, let me grab this and grab that. Oh, I jump in the hollow. Look how Piper did it. Okay. Wow. More things. Damn. Okay, now we go this way. There's Casa. Looks like she's waiting for someone. Proxy, we... let's take a closer look. Should we stop in the distance that her knows us? I'm here like I was told. Hello? Is anyone there? I thought we agreed. Mors? You were supposed to come alone. What are you talking about? Hand over the goods like you promised. <laughs> if you want the goods, you're gonna have to pay up. Oh my god, I finally saw the cutscene. Or... I'll just take it from the sons of Caledon. Wait, what? You're mine now, and my prey it's like he never knows. escapes. Oh yeah, sense. bring it on! Morse Casa, let's settle this right now! Yeah, let's go. Oh, Caesar trusted you. What are you doing running with them? Come on, Lucy, I can explain. You guys met up here in secret. What else 
is there to explain? What did they hook you up with? It's not like that. It's just that the town is in dire need of necessity. Ever since the gas station ran out of gas, we've been running low on money and resources. <laughs> what? Damn, Luce. I mean, Piper took the lesson. He's trying to escape. After him. He got knocked down. Wait, did he get knocked down? Or he jumped out? Caesar, you're here. Caesar, calm down and listen to me. Costa and the Overlord. Enough. I know. <sighs> These supplies will get corrupted if left in the hollow. Casa. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Take them with you. Uh. Hmm? Overlord Pompey? What? He was badass, actually. It's been a while, Caesar of the Sons of Caledon. To think that little sprout by Big Daddy's side would dare bring her underlings to challenge me. Overlord Pompey, while the Sons of Caledon still recognize you as the leader of the Motor League, you'd better explain why you're here. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. That will be addressed soon enough. But first, there's a more pressing matter. Caesar, these goods are what the Vanquishers promised to deliver to Blazewood. Are you deciding to let the mayor take them? Don't push your luck. Lucy, wait. I heard you arguing with Casa earlier. I checked these boxes. They really are food and medicine. They weren't lying, no matter where they came from. These are things the town needs, but... Casa... If you're in a bad spot, why didn't you ask us for help? We've known each other for years. Caesar, I was actually planning to ask you for help, but then you came in all excited, telling me you qualified for the Tour d'Inferno and asked if you could stay in Blazewood for a while. The Sons of Caledon have helped Blazewood so much over the years. At a crucial time like this, we have no way to repay you. So how could we make you worry about this for us too? Repay? Selling us out to the Vanquishers is your idea of repaying us? Selling you out? Wait, Lucy, I've never betrayed you. I just made a deal with the Vanquishers. We trade the handicrafts we make for supplies. She's telling the truth. Although you have the favor of Blazewood, as the Overlord, I couldn't turn a blind eye to the needs of the residents. So I presented them with an opportunity. When Casa suggested moving the trade to the Hollow to avoid any misunderstandings, I agreed. After all, we can't disrupt the peace among League members. So you're saying the leak about our whereabouts has nothing to do with you? Standing your ground is a good trait, but not knowing when to back down is just disrespectful. I'm here to resolve this matter. Today I found this in the handicrafts Blazewood delivered. Okay. A son of the pie gave it to by Pompey. A little bottle made of Hawaii, usually with some oil inside of the blessing, but this is one of the electric chips inside instead. Is that... a listening device? Moors, this vial should have contained heavy oil. The lifeblood of the old oil field. So why is this here? <sighs> also, the supplies delivered to Blazewood of late seem to be less than what was agreed upon. Do you know anything about this? Boss, Pompey, I... Moors, I didn't bring you along for the Tour d'Inferno just for you to play dirty tricks. If we, as the League Overlords, are not just, then who would want to remain part of the League? And who would protect the old oil field? I'm so sorry. I messed up. I wasn't thinking straight. It's all my fault. I'll take the punishment. You're willing to take your punishment. Do you think you alone can bear the responsibility for the damage that you've caused? Sons of Caledon, Casa. Moors is my subordinate. I failed to manage him properly. I won't shift the blame onto him. As the current overlord, I'll take responsibility for this and provide compensation. <laughs> nice speech. 
Now, how do you plan to fix this? Recently, I negotiated and reached cooperation agreements with several areas neighboring the old oil field. According to the agreement, the old oil field's damaged oil pipelines can be rebuilt through other regions, as long as we provide some of the oil to them. Wait, does that mean our town's oil supply is saved? That's right. Within three months, the supply should be restored. Also, several regions have agreed to share the roads, opening up at least five new freight routes for the old oil field. Sons of Caledon. In the next six months, I plan to have you manage three of these routes. I take it you won't refuse. You mean you're just gonna hand them over on a silver platter? I heard you've been drawing bad routes lately. Though it's just a coincidence, it's time to compensate you. And though the new routes are lucrative, they also traverse treacherous areas and require experienced riders. I have a condition, though. You need to help the less fortunate residents in these three regions for free during this period. And any teams using the routes in the future must do the same. How does that sound? Hey, Lucy. How are the terms? Are they really as good as he says? If it's true, it does solve our long-standing issues with Blazewood. Plus, with expanded routes, the other biker gangs would see a significant income boost. Hmm, I see. Hey, old man! Your terms are certainly interesting, but it looks like you're making assumptions. The title of Overlord and who gets to allocate the routes hasn't been decided yet. Have I become Overlord? I'll be fairer than you. <laughs> you can certainly talk the talk. I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> All right, I agree. Caesar, here's a letter of commitment I wrote myself. The route allocations will be officially announced soon. See you at the Tour d'Inferno. Oh yeah. Two days later. So, it turns out, Moore's bugged the handicraft sent to Blazewood for processing and was listening in on our conversation. Yes, and once the goods were processed and shipped out, they could discreetly retrieve the listening device. It's a flawless plan. If that's the case, why did the Overlord reveal this? At that point, we hadn't even discovered the listening device. Hmm. Thought we had discovered it. Even if we hadn't found the listening device, once we cleared things up with Casa, we would have eventually started to suspect the handicrafts. That's right. If we found the bugs ourselves, things would have gotten out of hand. Is there a difference? Oh, Bernice, always so optimistic. The Overlord stepping up shows some sincerity, at least. If we had confronted him, even if it was all Moore's is doing, we wouldn't have accepted his terms, right? This handling this could have shaken the foundations of the Motor League, jeopardizing the safety of the old oil field. It could jeopardize the city of the entire area. It could jeopardize the safety of the entire area? Yes. We've been able to live relatively peacefully, thanks to the League ensuring the security of our oil resources. You have to understand, our oil isn't just coveted by other regions in the Outer Ring. Big city companies see it as the only thing stopping them from expanding into the Outer Ring. If something happens to the oil, the biker gangs might have a chance to move to other areas. But everyone else won't be so lucky, especially Blazewood. The residents are mainly the elderly or children, and their ether aptitude is weak. Oh, Proxy! There you are! Sorry to bother you, but can we talk? Later, a little distance away. Proxy, I want to discuss Caesar. Ever since we met with the Overlord, she's been acting weird. She's usually straightforward and energetic. But lately, she's just been sitting on her own, lost in thought. She's even eating less than usual. Hmm. Um, Caesar has something on her mind? Caesar's worried about something? It's strange, right? Lighter offered to train for the Turd Inferno with her, and she said she'd think about it. I think it's related to what happened that day. But if I ask her, she won't tell me the truth. <clears throat> uh, just so you know, I don't really care what's wrong with her, but she's still the leader of the Sons of Caledon and I can't let her affect the others. Proxy, can you come up with something? Um, I'll try to feel her out stubbornly. All right. I'll try to be subtle about it. I'm planning to head back to New Eridu tomorrow to copy some offline data. It might be a good opportunity. That's a good idea. And Caesar hasn't been to New Eridu much. You can show her around. All right, I'll handle Caesar. Tomorrow, have her take you to New Eridu on her bike. I'll leave the rest to you. 
Ooh, you tell about, about what happened with Caesar that night. A slain chocolate Caesar? We saw that in Lincoln Clear Cull's name. Caesar should be revived, right? It doesn't sound like Caesar's style. On, a on, the on top of copying the data, how about taking Caesar into a little stroll? Let's say I put my help to her head. Alright, let's do that. It's getting late, right? You should get some rest since you're heading out tomorrow. Yeah, good idea. I'm going to my bed. Taking a nap since she was still heading back to sleep tomorrow. Probably you should go to bed early today. Huh? Early? Send me to the room and flop into the sleepy and cozy bed. When Caesar see the totally over on the corner, what should you do? Should I expel what girls I want to? Why the fuck would I think that? You doze up before you visit. After a period of time, you are awakening at a shark in the birds. Time is probably heading back to the day. Lucy should have to sister by now, right? Hopefully, I'm heading back up. Good morning, Bernice! Looking sexy as ever! And going out with Caesar? I wish I could take you out instead, Bernice. But oh well, I guess she wants to come out with me instead. Boxy, you're here. Let's see the you're hiding back to, to copy a day from the toilet to the funnel. You open a huge shop for Sons of Calthus, so I want to tell a favor. Now do your business and to a bodyguard this time. Your backup is a special. Nah, no time to waste. Let's get started then. Oh, wait, let's go. Okay, so am I just seeing it behind her? That's what it looks like. And it feels like the random play story. So this is where the famous Faithin lives and runs a video store. <laughs> that reminds me. Sometimes Lucy comes all the way to New Eridu just to see movies that feature her favorite stars. Hmm. Caesar, you haven't been to New Eridu much, have you? Caesar, you haven't been to New Eridu much, have you? When we do get business in the city, we get hold of temporary entry permits. But I rarely make the trip. I was born and raised in the Outer Ring. I still prefer a place that gives you the freedom to roam. Caesar, how about exploring the city today? How about we explore the city today? I'll be your tour guide. We have some time while the data copies. And there's nothing else to do while we wait. Alright, you're the boss. Okay, what are we doing in the meantime, Proxy? Speaking of which, to us and Melody, let's try to hold the different plan. Watch movies, drinking, tummy, and shopping. Though, so if Belle's default plan, Caesar's a girl too, and she's around the same age, so she probably won't be too opposite. Yep, let's take you to Lulu Moscow next. Um, okay, I guess that's where we're going while well, that's happening. Caesar, wait! Why are you doing those standing we waiting for me? I'm anyways. Oh, simply you see are here. It's like a whole block. Do you have somewhere like this in the auto game? We don't have luxury skyscape there. Our cinema is just some wide room with real players. We have open air kind of drives and cinemas too though. I'll kill a nice pocket wheel on the miles to catch some awesome movies. Sometimes it's gonna do that with this spot. Do you expect to see to be credit though? Weird, it's not usually this crowded. Why? That is the when. What's the gravity cinema? We'll be showing a whole bunch of movies this week. We'll eat them every day. Today is all about thrillers. Which, the voice peak, attack on cyber, the big horror, and copy made available. Oh shit, it's thriller day today. Seems like there's an odd problem. You're talking about could make right? Well, it's label, more meant to call it. It's today's peak for the hood music epic. Must be a plus for gold one. Wait, 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 heart racing? Really? Are you into this one, Caesar? Huh? No, no, no! It's a wrestling trip, so let's just catch the trailer for kicks. I guess I have to bear with it for Caesar's sakes. Sure thing! Uh -huh. Sh uh, let's check your tickets now. We still have NTCs for attack on Cyber and copy base, so two attack on Cyber tickets for you. Uh, sure, I guess. You watch attack on Cyber with Caesar, enough of that. I love to see what the kinds of time at the end. I love the scene with the book free from the underground border. That's eventually more concerning than holding my breath. Yeah, I totally agree. You look pale, right? Are you alright? Uh, yeah, I'm good. Wait, can we get the joy? <laughs> hey, stop laughing at me. Come back inside. No offense, just it feels like I'm seeing another side of you. I thought you were just a natural poker face. That you're picking up the dealer, it was for me, right? So maybe I thought to watch a movie today. So, what are we doing next? Let's grab it. My tree! Yeah, let's do that. I'm gonna eat out. That's what it looks like. People on the streets are about going like, oh, is that his girlfriend? No! Oh my gosh, I couldn't see you again. Fine, it's totally up to you, but we need to go to the series and catch you later. Oh, yeah, never mind. That's, a, that's a talking. Never mind. Yeah, I don't think about it. After that, the girl wearing glasses leaves. Uh, hey, we want some tea, though. Hello? Ah, come on, I'm 
gonna be straight to staring at her boobas! I mean, oh my god, look at she is. She's, it's like she's trying to look up, but she can't resist looking down, just like all of us. Welcome to Witch's Team, which milk. Uh, I mean, the team, her name was a bad one. Belinda says from last time that she got a drink from here and I took her to to eat. Uh, wait, eat? Yeah, but they said it was a world dream to see, and that she was new to uncle the team with the beers using the city. So she over all, all the top of the mantis ad. Oh, I remember the what? I remember her. I'm sorry, but I don't have a huge range of topic. I should explain that what happened if you had all back then. I'm sorry for the trouble to take your head. No, it is your fault. Plus, we had a quit of a long time to get out of the city for a tell me this is a day. I see it from beside you. I say I call for the only one. You used to buy the Coco Will Mugger team list, and then... We've seen the movie and had our drinks. Where should we go next? How about we walk nearby? We've got some time to spare. How about we walk around nearby? There's lots of interesting shops in Lumina Square. You might see something you like. Okay, let's go! Everyone, watch out! Stay away from that fugitive! Huh? Of course, a brilliant man tries to do the crowd, followed by Silver Fruit's offices. Uh-oh. That guy has a dangerous look in his eyes. Those guys chasing him don't stand a chance. Take care of yourself, Wise. I'll be right back. Season watches up and she finished speaking. If you miss her, you managed to call her. Hello, Wise? Caesar, where are you? Are you okay? Caesar, where are you? Are you okay? Don't worry, don't worry, I'm fine. I already caught the guy. Don't forget I'm even stronger than lighter. And besides, you weren't that concerned about me when I was dealing with ethereals before. Uh, here with our ideas and ethereals. Humans are sometimes more dangerous than ethereals. Wow, that's true, all of us. That's so old school. You sound just like Big Daddy. So, are you still nearby? I got totally turned around chasing him through the alleys. So, I'm a little lost right now. Give me a minute and I'll come to you. Hmm? Hey, Wise, can you hear me? Um, actually, I think we know where you are. Hello, can you hear me? Hello? God damn, my phone died! God, it just going in your cell looking for him back, but now it's acting up. The alley has made dead cells for signals, so not having a phone isn't really a big deal, but now it's causing trouble. So, young lady, have you managed to contact your friend yet? Oh, your phone is aged. My daughter is always is your age, and she's changed her out years every year, huh? Your outfit, you're from the alley wing, right? Oh, is that an issue for that? I got all the people in the city. Oh, that's not what I mean. From most from the other wings will in the field far to the corner and it's worth to see what heal. Thank you for your help, but next time we're gonna have ski officer access to seek kill. Just stay put. It's always a dash of danger. But I'm not saying that I'm from the other wing. You don't have to do protect me, do you? To the I guess, but you're still a kid in my eyes. It's all natural for us to to protect your kids. Ah, don't sweat it. I'm kicking my fair shell of asses and I can't tell if my foot fall tough a mile away. Speaking of, you don't know where the tough ones in the future have me because you have due to the eye to pick up away from your crowd. Of course we are. Uh, huh, so why did you? It was an energy and we had no backup. If we had an actor, you might have to session an innocent citizen. To be honest, I didn't want to face him head on, but we had no other choice. For some reason, I'm going to of the old man, Guayquo, who retired a while back. Back when I was like 10, a campaign hollow a bush, swallowed a few kids who were playing barriers. He mixed himself to rescue them and worked his health, but he always smoked one of his missions this him. What's up, boy, Nelly? Nothing, I'm about to meet my friend. Take care of yourself. Goodbye, and thanks to you again for your help. It's all now set now. I will go meet the party. You want to check out the teammate place first. I'm being seized. <gasps> oh, 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 my god. I gotta be. They bounce. Um, anyways, okay, anyways, um, I'm just gonna go talk to her again. Excuse me, can I have something? Hello! Ah, I'm sorry! I'm back! This is a two show! I was about to strip out here and launch titties again! Welcome to Wizard TV, Dimitri. Oh, it's you again? I don't know what you're doing. I don't know what you're doing. I don't know what you're doing. I think it's actually cost a bitch. Your friend got away right after you. Didn't you tell me that? No, my phone died. Can you reach out now? I see, I'm sorry. You're not being helpful. No, I'm sorry. Hey, 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 you haven't saw her because you're going with guys. Oh, is she bullying you? Hey, no, she's, a, she's just a friend trying to talk about the job. Eh, yeah, talk to you about your job. Yeah, so what do you do? Take care of your job sometimes too while making a little cash on the side. But tell me a little more cursor service than I thought doing the people have been not my thing. I was wondering, if my job is to pay isn't great, why should I stick around? I just want to enjoy the team. Ah, ah, 
I'm so full of venting. If it changes hearing about the war as well, you're all good. You're thinking of quitting. Why are you hesitating? Because seeing us happy with the dream, saying it's perfectly tasty, gentlemen, it's a fulfilling. Come on, make drink that brings passion to everyone. Oh, thank you. I think I figured out something. I stick around for a bit longer. Don't push it. I just been trying with you. But what is it? I'm listening to. Oh, are you trouble too? Yeah, kind of. My friend has been worried about me. They even found out excuses for dragging me to the city happy from wine. They expected I think that nothing happened. Oh, uh, since you got a good, good friend. Yeah, that's why I want to step up too. Oh, you said you got separate from your friend. How did you get here? To the last one? We won't do a trusty mom, but of course. Oh, why? Right. I just had to call another way for him. Oh, this will hit. I'm leaving. You're welcome. Come back again soon. Parking lot? I mean, it's pretty far away. I swear, she walks inside the street. People are staring at her like, God damn! Why is she standing in the, in the parking lot? Caesar, you're here. I thought you asked me to wait to take stuff from you, but I was worried. Then I tried to find out these poor girls that they took me out of the way of life. I couldn't come here, and I was afraid you were leaving again, so I just stayed here. So I was across my phone no function, but now that we're together, let's head back to 6th Street. I didn't realize you were disgusted, so like, you know what, we should get more back later. Too bad we couldn't hang out more. No, I actually had kind of made for time here. Okay. After a while, you returned to run and play with Teaser. The data should have finished copying by now, and it's getting dark. Let's head back to the outer ring. Thanks for showing me around today. Seems like everywhere in New Eridu is just as busy as the old oil field's biggest market. Badger's respite. So many strange and wonderful things. No wonder a lot of people from the outer ring want to live here. Have you ever thought about it? Haven't you ever thought about it, Caesar? With your skills, you could apply for citizenship. Me? Uh, never thought about it. Even now, being here in the city, I still feel like I belong in the outer ring. Why, it really is you. Long time no see. I saw the note on your door saying you'd be away for a while, but I didn't expect it to be this long. Chop told me he saw you were back, so I came over to check. How are you guys? Mm, thanks, Enzo. We're good. We're doing good. Thanks, Enzo. Just visiting friends for a few days. I happen to be one of those friends. We'll take good care of Bell and Wise. <laughs> With such a friendly host, we neighbors can rest easy. I'll leave you to it. If you need anything, just drop by my store. Is that guy your neighbor, Proxy? You seem close. I always heard people in the city aren't as close to one another. But from what I've seen today, people seem pretty friendly here too. You asked if I ever thought about living in the city. I guess with so many close friends in the outer ring, I've just never thought about leaving. So, if I want to really protect them, I can't do that. Are you talking about becoming the Overlord? Are you talking about becoming the Overlord? Yeah, Proxy. I've been thinking a lot these past few days. Growing up with the stories of the Tor Inferno, I always wanted to become the Overlord to prove I was the strongest. But being the Overlord is more than just being the strongest. Even though Pompey's men caused trouble, he stepped in and resolved the situation. He even took care of the problems in Blazewood and with the Sons of Caledon. I only just found out the reason the Overlord hadn't been seen for the past six months is because he had been working on negotiations with the other regions. I would have never thought of doing that. I didn't even know it was an option. When he laid out the terms, Lucy immediately saw the benefits of the new routes for the old oil field. But I only understood after she told me. Casa has been working tirelessly for the town bearing the brunt of all the pressure. Compared to them, I still have a long way to go. Realizing your shortcoming is the first step to improvement. Realizing your shortcomings is the first step to becoming a better person. And you have your strengths too, Caesar. When you found those goods in the hollow, you didn't get angry. You let Casa take them out first. At the time, we all thought Casa had betrayed us. But you still thought of the town's residents first, worrying the items would be corrupted in the hollow. <laughs> I think anyone else would do the same, right? Making sure everyone has enough to eat is more important than my pride or my feelings, but hearing you say that makes me feel a lot better. I might not be the smartest, but like a wild boar, once I set my sights on a target, I won't let up until I chase them down. Besides, I've got a great group of friends supporting me. Now it's time to focus on Torrid Inferno. Pompey is a great opponent. This time, We'll find out once and for all who's the best! Okay, I have to say, Pong, all thanks to you. Plus, trying to just tell you made me feel so much better. Best of luck with the Tordy Inferno. Since we're done here, let's pretend the other ring. I will feed the parking lot. Okay, we're going now. Meanwhile, some of the old oil field district. 
Boss, here's the new route distribution sheet. The newly expanded freight routes have been assigned to the Sons of Caledon as per your instructions. Yes, put it there. Boss, you've worked so hard for these new routes. Are you really going to just hand them over? If it weren't for Moore stealing the intelligence, I wouldn't have had to go through all this trouble. By the way, Moore's insists he acted alone. What do you think? Well, boss, you know Moore's was also thinking of our best interests. <laughs> You're giving me the answer to a question I never asked. But you don't seem too surprised by all this. Wanting to win isn't a bad thing. But since I'm the reigning overlord, we have to act with integrity. The Motor League's stability ensures the safety of the oil wells. If there's infighting, someone's going to get taken advantage of. By the way, I heard that you've had a lot of dealings with companies in the city lately. Uh, that is absolutely untrue. It's just that we had some issues with the protective gear we arranged for the oil refinery. I had to find a way to handle it. I hope so. Lucius, you're smart and ambitious, but always eager for immediate results. Don't let your cleverness backfire. Yes, boss. <clears throat> these documents never end. I've been feeling exhausted these days. Am I getting too old for this? Not at all, boss. You've been talking about the Tour de Inferno a lot lately. You're clearly raring to go. <laughs> well said. Caesar may have some potential, but she's not ready to replace me yet. But boss, please don't overwork yourself for the next few days. After all, for this grand event, you need to be in peak condition. He sounds like the one kind of um, Hong Kong style will, who sounds that evil. Oh, I want those enemy characters. Oh my god, my people are just staying down! Um, anyways, let's talk to Bill. Hey Bill, I'm back! I think it's still for the 24 of us, and you see this in the shot too. I'm coming to around the corner, so if it's like you last me to me, let's get them done ASAP. All set! Let's do it right now! Alright, let's go for the Tour de Funnel. Finally, the day after Tour de Funnel arrives. Isn't it all the way on the roof for the kickoff, right? Let's look up and do and get it started. Okay, like right now? Old Fo old Royal Field District. Tour de Funnel starting point. Alright, all you Days 11 rascals! Watching on TV! Been a long time coming. The showdown's gonna be a blast. <laughs> You're quite confident, little girl. Do your best and try not to bore me. Alright, folks, take your positions. The Tork Inferno is officially on! The Vanquishers and the Sons Caradon are neck and neck as they passed before. Can we expect an epic showdown in the hollow? Be careful, everyone. We're about to enter the hollow. Cinder Glow Lake, here we come! In the hollow, don't take it a whisk! That is, it. That is cool, what we're doing. Why am I lighter and not, not her ass? Am I gonna. I'm riding this? Use A to move left and right. Hold the uh, 
attack button to continue the field that's a while wow, good you can safely push to us on the world press the with dash button before a dodge you need to dilute to for us in the world and see the push to your outfit on the world oh my god i'm wanting this all right we're in the hollow oh god it's like playing mario kart follow this path down into the depths of the hollow i'll monitor this route in real time yeah good 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 obstacles detected on the road ahead <laughs> piece of cake uh did that work warning Oh, I'm supposed to do that. Let's pass them! Oh, oh my goodness. Are you okay? Uh, not at all. My hair is full of steam. <laughs> That's what you get for being so slow. Okay. This is fun. There are more and more ether crystals around. If this was like a multiplayer, if this was a multiplayer waste in this game, I would play some content with friends. Yeah, fuck that thing. Dodge out. There's a huge building over there. Probably an oil refinery, right? Big Daddy told me this place used to be incredible. Now it's with ether cushions. God damn. Under. Oh, that was close. Watch where you're going. Hey, bitch! I am fine. Completely, we'll be okay. Let me ride, let me ride, and then go this way. And then we just dash on through. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Warning. Fire detected on the road ahead. Hey, hey! Damn it! I think it's just done longer. Never mind. Warning! Dangerous buildings above the road ahead. Dangerous buildings? What do you mean? Oh, I mean they're falling over. Watch out! <gasps> oh my God! That's like how many times did that? <gasps> okay, we're good. Ugh, that was a tough track. Really? Is that all you got? Just focus on your driving, okay? Okay. Got the obstacles. Again. Again. Watch we'll out. do that. It's getting more narrow up ahead. It's tight, Proxy. Ooh. That's an achievement. I mean, What's that sound? I mean, the, the ground's shaking. Wait, am I even controlling her now? No, I wasn't looking at she's doing it. Everyone. Be careful. Um, Caesar? Some moments later. Proxy! Proxy! Wake up! Are you okay? Dang, that was quite an impact. Is your bang boo alright? I'm fine. How are you holding up? I'm fine. How are you holding up? I'm alright, just a few scratches. I'll live. The only problem is, it's just you and me now. Lucy and Lighter are missing when the boulder fell. The ground gave way and collapsed, forming a massive hole. And when I woke up, we were here. Master, due to the spatial distortion caused by the severe tremors, you have deviated from the planned route. Recalculating your position. Additionally, before the rockfall, a significant release of energy was detected coming from both sides of the road. Please proceed with caution. A significant release of energy? You mean an explosion? There were old oil facilities on that path. Did the explosion come from there? <laughs> What's this? When we fell in here, I got covered in this glittery dust. Is that Lucy's stuff? Dust? Dust. Now that you mention it, Eos is covered in it too. What? Wait a minute. Isn't this stuff the ether powder left oh, behind no, after my... a pure ether explosive goes off? I was thinking like Lucy's makeup stuff. What did you say, Wise? But the Outer Rain doesn't have advanced ether technology. And the city wouldn't sell such dangerous tech to the outer ring. So how did it get here? Hmm. Hmm. We were sabotaged. Since we found this stuff, it wasn't an accident. We were sabotaged. What? Who did this? Couldn't be the vanquishers, could it? But when we were at the starting line, Pompey told me to give him my all and give him a proper challenge. He seemed eager to compete. How could he stoop so low? Caesar, although we can't jump to conclusions, with an incident as serious as this, 
There's no way today's race can continue as planned. The drone should have gotten it all on camera. Bernice is watching the race. We have to tell her the truth and get her to call it off. Understood, second assistant. Connecting you now. Oh, hey, Proxy, it's you. What are you calling me for? Everything looks to be going smoothly in the hollow. And we haven't encountered any battles so far. Huh? Bernice, didn't you see what just happened? What? Did something happen? Why, something's wrong. Fairy says the footage being broadcast has been tampered with. It's not just ours. Even the footage of the Overlord is fake. The footage from both sides has been swapped out. I don't think this is just about stopping us from winning the Tour d'Inferno. Hmm. Then this is the way about you being exposed afterward. Yeah. Their actions suggest they aren't worried about getting exposed later, and there's ether explosives appearing where they shouldn't be in the outer ring. Could they be targeting Cinder Lake? Are you saying Cinder Lake might be in danger? Yes. I think Wise's guess makes sense. Hmm. Caesar, why are you planning to do this? Caesar, you're the leader of the Sons of Caledon and our client. So what's the plan? We can try to get out of the Hollow right now and tell everyone about what happened. Or... You're stating the obvious, Proxy. We're heading to Cinder Lake. We can't just sit back and watch. As long as we can protect Cinder Lake, we'll figure the rest out. All right. Leave it to me. All right. Since you've come to a decision, just leave the rest to me. Uh, wait. What are you all talking about? It sounds like something crazy happened, but it doesn't make any sense. Don't worry, Bernice. I'll explain everything to you later. Wise, Caesar, you two should get going. You've got to regroup with Lighter and Lucy. I can't miss a UC mess return to the surface. Okay, so I'm just being Caesar for now, but I was just so simple. Let's go, Proxy! Yep. We don't have much time. Biosignals detected in the area ahead. There's no end to these things! It was Lucy's voice! Let's hurry! Bye bye! <laughs> Lucy! Huh? Ooh, box! Extra money! I'll grab! Extra money! I'm gonna run up, kill, double this money! Hey, Lucy! Hey! Turn around! Hey, you two! Oh, hold on, hold on, let me just. Uh, okay. Hey, Lucy! I have arrived! Caesar and the proxy! Seriously? What took you so long? Are you guys all right? Boss, don't worry. We're fine. But the collapse just now was not normal. Seems like it was caused by ether explosives. That's the conclusion we came to, too. Looks like someone is trying to harm Cinder Lake. We have to get there fast. Wait! If you're going to Cinder Lake, you need a bike! Note. I've already detected the coordinates of three motorbikes. <laughs> That's great news! Proxy, take us there now! Oh, okay, that was good. <laughs> okay, we're gonna heal. Eat us? Yep. Yeah. So it looks like, uh, yeah. wasn't yeah. evil kind yeah. of enemies. Let's see what we Oh my god, she is just yeah. too strong yeah. to do with these guys. Down the way. Yeah. Uh, Once more. Go the final go. act begins now. Hey. Okay. The See brave that? fear nothing. And this way. This way. Yep. There's a special fissure nearby. He said to that kid, so that means that you just baseball your children to death and just murder them by accident. Biosignals detected nearby. It's like she owns- Let's go take a look. It's like she owns three bamboos, but the pigs actually. The cute ones. Oh, <laughs> I would like to own one. And reason by soon after, she and others who approached this figure. It's Morse! That's weird. Why isn't he with the Overlord and the others? Boss. That guy just now was holding a pair of binoculars. He seemed to be looking at something at the foot of the mountain. It's where the explosion happened. I don't know what Mars commission sounds. Mars, what's your status? Have you seen the Sons of Caledon? Where have they gone to? Reporting in, boss. I've been monitoring their route as instructed. But I still haven't seen any sign of them yet. Still haven't seen them. Those young'uns know how to handle themselves. 
Now that they're facing some real trouble, they can't take it. <laughs> uh, boss? You okay? Ha! <laughs> Mors, of course the Overlord is fine. Didn't you see him cut down those ethereals just now with a single slash? Lucius, enough trying to suck up to me. After all these years with me, you still haven't gotten over those bad habits of yours. Turning tail and running at the first sign of danger, and underestimating your enemies when victory's within reach. As a biker and second in command of the Vanquishers, you aren't fit to lead with that attitude. Boss, I get what you're saying. I've always been slow to learn. If it wasn't for you, I would never have even seen the shadow of Cinder Lake. Enough. In the past, you would have fled at the mention of the Tour de Inferno. But now you've insisted on coming along. That counts as progress. Moors, keep an eye on the Sons of Caledon. We aren't far from Cinder Lake. Not good. The Vanquishers are way ahead of us. But by the sounds of it, Pompey knew nothing about the explosion. Hmm, something seems off. Is it just me? Or does something feel off about Moors? The explosion at the foot of the mountain just now caused a huge landslide. You can see the rising smoke and dust from here, even without binoculars. Proxy, you're onto something. Seeing something like that would usually cause alarm. Even if Moors was sent to spy on us, it's still weird that he didn't even mention this to the Overlord. Hey, Caesar, pipe down! Huh? Who's there? No one. Moors, time to surrender. Not gonna happen. And again. Amazing. How did you do that? Yeah. Let me add him. Good. 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 Morris, you coward! Boss, Wait. he escaped through the fissure. Morris must have had something to do with the explosion back there. Most what? likely. I've got a bad feeling about this. Yeah, this is... Now's not the time for this. Chris, you seem like like totally from the finish line. The Sons of Caledon talked a big game about having a showdown. But this has been disappointingly dull. Boss, you might have a soft spot for that Caesar, but it's their own fault for being so useless. <laughs> but dull can be a good thing. At least we won't have to worry about Cinder Lake for a few years. He did this? What's with all these ether crystals coming out of nowhere? The ether aggregation catalyst can accelerate the crystallization of free-floating ether particles. This is tech developed by City Enterprises to increase ether production, and it works wonders in the unique environment of Cinder Lake. Lucius, do you mean you? That's right, Pompey. I've replaced your spark stone. Oh, he's Cinder the evil Lake guy. Will be completely extinguished soon. Oh, and one more thing I almost forgot to mention. When using this catalyst, the nearby ether concentration will skyrocket. Especially for those with a weak aptitude for ether, it will have serious consequences. Oh, that makes sense! Lucius, how dare you! You won't get away with this! How dare you give me another scar! You monster! Despite being so corrupted, you still have this much strength! To think I ever had such high hopes for you. I was blind! Do you understand the impact of colluding with the city's ether companies? What it'll do to this place? <laughs> Did you really think we all shared your old-fashioned ideals of freedom and morality, boss? The weak and the worthless have no place in this age. With the power of ether, I will establish a new order in this leaderless outer ring. A kingdom completely under my control! What is it? Boss, we found the Sons of Caledon. They're about to reach Cinder Lake. What? All those explosives didn't take them out? <sighs> we have to retreat for now. Seeing Cinder Lake snuffed out would have been a 90, but now it's down to a 60. Sorry, boss. Time to say goodbye. At least you'll be out of your misery. Wait a minute. <laughs> I just remembered. Weren't you disappointed you couldn't face the Sons of Caledon in a final showdown? Meanwhile, 
Warning. A significant increase in ether concentration near Cinderglow Lake has been detected. What a fucker. What? What's going on? There aren't any cameras near Cinder Lake, so we can't be sure. But it's definitely not a good sign. Damn. Does that mean we're too late? No matter what, Lucy. We have to get there as fast as we can. Great. Roxy, where are our bikes? The fisher took them to a place not too far away. Come with me. Barry, mm -hmm. how is the situation at Cinder Lake looking? Rising ether concentration levels detected. I have okay, also detected know. that Cinder Lake's heat signature is shrinking. I knew it! Cinder Lake is in trouble. We're almost there. Our rides are up ahead. Okay, uh, this one. Uh, enemy that looks like it's evil. Oh yeah, that's the same dangerous. Our bikes! Yay! Thank goodness. Everybody's still good to go. Lucy Lana, how you doing going up? The wheels of the bugs are wookie, but they'll hang in there. Mine's good too. Alright, let's run up. Oh, look at me a oh. friend. Oh! The one is kiss mines! Summer or later. We're almost there. Cinder Lake is just ahead. Caesar! That's Oh man! Hang in there! <laughs> The corruption is too severe. Caesar! Something's wrong with Cinder Lake! There are ether crystals everywhere! What on earth happened here? It's Lucius. He betrayed me. We'll get you out now! We can deal with the rest There's later. no time! Caesar, listen. You you must protect Cinder Lake. <laughs> Uh oh, he's about to become a massive the boss fight. A motorcycle kind of boss fight? This is evil kind of boss fight. That's what it reminds me of. Oh shit! Oh, oh man! Hey, take that! It's completely turned into a fury. This is all Lucius is doing. Yeah. He's the one conspiring with the evil corporation to extinguish the light. Exactly. That's right. So long as the oil runs out. He can do whatever he pleases. Warning. Rising ether activity detected. What? Ah, you slow down. What's that? And Jane! Stopped. Not moving. Uh, a second place, apparently, after this. Then I continue. Uh, 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 Stand down. Uh, yeah, see, second place. Stand and fight this time. Ooh. The tempo has changed. Watch out, everyone. Yeah, out of way, old man. If this keeps up. Oh, oh got that. Are you guys okay? 
Isn't this motorcycle wheels? Don't worry about us. Just think about winning. This is the only way for the Overlord to rest in peace. Where is the Leave it to me. Oh, shit. Not even close. Oh, it's so well. Taste the thing she'd be dead like that. Cinder Lake. In a few minutes, it'll be completely extinguished. How ironic. Even with the spark stone, it's too far away. There's nothing we can do. Without oil, what does Lucius plan to do with the old oil field? Just toss it in? Unless a miracle happens. Huh? I'll get the spark stone there. Uh, what? Caesar, you can't be! Nah, trust the process. Trust the process. You're right, Lucy. Even without oil, we can still make a living somewhere else. But what about the people who don't have a choice? I'm sorry. But this is what I have to do. It's like, wait, is this dropping down? Next thing you know, like, I'm fine, bitch, see? I'm in a body! I'm still alive somehow! Wait, there's an abnormal spatial fluctuation nearby. It's like something is coming our way. It's not over yet. Where is it? Above. See? She lived! There was a hollow nearby, so yeah, a miracle. Still buddy. Yo, we meet again. <laughs> He's like, and she gives you a hug. Three days later. Wise, everything's packed. We're ready to head back home. 
proxy! Good thing you haven't left. I almost missed seeing you off. Caesar, I told you, you shouldn't have rushed over here. With everything that's happened in the old oil field, you need to be there to keep things under control. I told you, I'm just the acting overlord. That day, even though Pompey threw in the spark stone that was replaced by Lucius, he was the first one to reach the finish line. The overlord title should be his. Speaking of Lucius... Caesar, speaking of Lucius... Any news on his whereabouts? Nothing yet. We haven't found his man Moore's either. <laughs> that no-good snake. We sent Bernice and Piper to cut him off, but he got away. Looking through the stuff he left behind, we found evidence that he was colluding with an Aether Corporation in the city. Combined with Eos's recordings that day, the old oil-filled bikers are well aware of what he did. Proxy, I didn't get to thank you after leaving the Hollow. We saved Cinder Lake thanks to you. Hmm. You're too kind. You're too kind. All I did was get you to the end safely. When the lake was about to go out, I thought we were done for. All I could do was watch as you rode away, getting further and further from us. Hey, don't get emotional on me. I was saved by the fissure hidden under the vent. Isn't it crazy how that went down? Tell Caesar's family's hypothesis. A friend who's an expert on this said that due to the complex air currents around the fissure, ether particles are unable to stabilize preventing it from being sealed off. Due to the balance between the natural gas and the ether particles, the fissure won't be moving anywhere. It's probably been there for decades. Diving into the fiery sea, the hero returns valiantly. When the first overlord reached the lake, maybe that's where he jumped in too. <laughs> Who'd have thought the legend of the first overlord was true? Well, this was an unexpected discovery. People back then didn't know about the fissure, and the first overlord probably forgot what happened to him. So that's where the divine intervention part of the legend came from. True, but isn't the existence of a fissure right in the middle of Cinder Lake already pretty divine intervention-y? is about the details. Do you remember what happened after you fell into the fissure? Parts of it, but it's hazy. I thought I was done for in the darkness. I thought I would lose consciousness pretty quickly. But I could feel every part of the overwhelming pressure as I passed through the fissure. Then, I saw a light in the darkness and instinctively pulled back on the throttle and sped towards it. Next thing, I came out right on top of you all. It was unbelievable. After you said, we meet again, the next thing out of your mouth was, Lucy, if I die, the Sons of Caledon are yours. She's always had her eye on taking over as the leader of the Sons of Caledon. And in that moment, I suddenly realized that I'd never made that clear before. I thought she'd be relieved, but that lunatic jumped up, shouted, I don't want your leftovers, and straight up slapped me in the face. Yeah, that was intense. <laughs> that was pretty wild. Lighter and I were at a loss for words. <laughs> My face was even swollen the next day. You guys all had a good laugh about it. But this time, I really worried you all. Since you're heading back to the city, let me give you something as a memento. Okay, a craft made from grass and buzzwood. For the resident of the oil, oil field district, also an important district of the Tordia Funnel. The scent of the wing bears a unique image. It likely holds some significance. Wow, a sunflint! Yeah, <laughs> all of the sons of Caledon chipped in. It's a shame I didn't have time to help with the weaving. I just drew the design in the middle. Thanks, I'll challenge it. Thanks. I'll take good care of it. You're always welcome in the Outer Ring, Proxy. May you rise from the ashes. Okay. It was really bummed about you leaving, Proxy. Why don't go and say goodbye? Big Daddy heard about what happened to the Toro Default and also helped out Dallas Default. He eager to meet you too. Got anything else in your mind, Proxy? About the old, old field current situation. Big Daddy said he'll be from, from a rough patch. All the old flowing smooth, the Vanquish might get a bit wild with old man Poppy gone. We've got to stay sharp, plus I know I not exactly cut out to be the overlord. We're all in this together. Yeah, thanks. Old man Poppy has sealed the deal with our I wonder if we go away about Parliament's situation. Well, he's been proven these days, but he's not going to come yet with the chat. But don't worry, I'll give you the hassle once he's ready to talk. Thanks so much. Hey, no worries. No worries. Something else for now. Let's stay in touch, Proxy. We'll be missing you. Oh, I'll just give you a hug. Okay, Belle. We're going home now, apparently. Should we head to our place? Yeah, let's head home. 
So he's imagining they'll take us near the other, so let's just move the driving. A car in winter seems like an industrial painting with the columns and bumps that just allow me slowly to the colorful new Odoo. The sound of Caesar's motorcycle has completely faded. It looks like we're about to leave the outer ring. Hmm. Our outer ring adventure is coming to an end. Cinder Lake is safe, and Caesar is the new overlord. This outer ring adventure is finally wrapping up. Thinking about how Cinder Lake was almost extinguished, and now we're laughing and driving home, it feels like a dream. You seem very relative. What's wrong, Belle? You sound a little emotional. Although we could only prove the fissure in Cinder Lake exists from its effects, apart from Caesar's bold gamble, there really was no other way to save it. But watching Caesar fall, that feeling of helplessness, I never want to go through that again, just like that time. Talk to Belle. Belle. Wise. <laughs> no wonder we're family. You must be thinking the same thing I am. Right, Wise? This is the edge of the city. Will they meet that time? Eos and Fairy are here too. It's time. Something's like the street wheel, though I don't place so as we could turn down to blow away from the main main wheel. Master, you have deviated from your course. Recalculating a new route home. Don't worry, Fairy. We are going the right way. The road we're taking now is the real way home. The car fall the sea edge, heading into the corner and crowded area. The world size shows feel altering the way as they go, eventually leaving onto the destination. Towards the moon at the old couple at the edge of the ship. We're here. Let's go up. Come on, Eos. Don't forget your scarf. Hey, Anna. Huh? It feels like we haven't been back in a long time, Belle. Fairy, do you know where this is? Search complete. This is the center of the chasm at the edge of New Eridu. The chasm, which preceded New Eridu, was the product of the large uncontrolled hollow disaster in Eridu, often called the Fall of the Old Capital. This is what she mean by that time. To deal with the out of control Hollow Zero during the Fall of the Old Capital, Eridu's leaders at the time detonated the 14 Shuyu pillars from the southwest to the northeast. The power of the explosion sparked a strong geological chain reaction bringing about the formation of the chasm. That's right. There's nothing in the chasm that can be corrupted. So Hollow Zero can't convert more etheric energy to expand, which prevents it from getting out of control. New Eridu could only be built because of it. Without it, if you keep driving from here, you'll end up on the road to the northern side of Eridu, which is really close to the throne quarter. Within 10 minutes, you'll come upon a massive statue. That belongs to the White Star Institute. Turning left before the statue takes you to the former main road number 7 of the Minerva Quarter. On the left side of the road were all the old civilization antique shops that Wise liked to go to. He was just a kid back then, and always fell for fake antiques. And on the right side of the road were all the dessert shops and snack stores that Belle loved. I couldn't resist Belle's whining and ended up buying more treats than she could ever finish. I couldn't finish them? As soon as any snacks were placed on the table, everyone would grab them up within a minute. Or have you forgotten? How could I forget? So, at the end of main road number seven, after you pass two, no, three security gates, you'll see a beautiful building. Our teacher is right there. She'll be at the entrance with Eos waiting for us. She always liked to stand to the right of the building's plaque. The Helios Academy. That's our real home. It's there now as well, just across the chasm deep inside Hollow Zero, under the rubble of the old capital's ruins. Teacher? We're back. It's been a while this time, and a lot's happened. When Kay away her unfinished words, Bill pack up Aeos, appreciate the plot fence. The bamboo stretches out the small hand and ties the west coast to the middle net. The colorful clothes dance in the wind. Master, second assistant, please allow me to express my condolences for the significant individual who has passed away. Should you wish, I can search for her name and accurately determine her location on the memorial monument. Carol. Carol Arna. That name Who's was that? not found in the database of victims from the fall of the old capital. Only one matching result was found in the related information, resulted in the uncontrollable Hollow Zero, leading to the great tragedy of the fall of the city. The main culprit, Senior Research Director Carol Arna of the Helios Academy, along with others involved, will forever be etched on the pillar of shame. Speculation. The name provided earlier was incorrect, or the matching information belongs to another person with the same name. No, it's no mistake. The person officially responsible for the fall of the old capital is Carol Arna. She was our teacher. She taught us, raised us. 
the HDD system and EOS are among her many achievements. She also saved us when the old capital fell. Fairy, didn't you ask us why we wanted to investigate Hollow Zero? This is our reason. We became proxies so we could collect enough observation data to one day head back to where Helios Academy once stood, deep in Hollow Zero. We're confident that if there are clues anywhere, it's, the game it's is. got to be there. Belle and I are prepared to swear on our lives that our teacher isn't the one responsible. We have to uncover the truth about the fall of the old capital and clear our teacher's name. She's innocent, because... Warning, an unknown entity has been detected nearby. Huh? Now? Who would come here? Oh, God! You're the head of Section 6. Hoshimi Miyabi. I'm Miyabi, I'm sending one. Oh my god. That's correct. And you're the leaders of the independent investigation team with the exceptional guide, Bangbo. I did not anticipate being bested by you. We're honored you remember us. But being bested by us, what do you mean? I am training to be the first to reach the Chasm Memorial. I would like to spend some more time with her alone. Yep. Mavaya goes straight to the moment by the posy fence and softly touches around the knees and curves the surface. So you're here to pay your respects to the deceased too? Yes. My mother. My condolences. I hope you can find peace soon. Thank you. But I don't intend to find peace. Hmm? You don't want to find peace? Indeed. I shall not seek peace until all those responsible for the fall of the old capital are apprehended. She looks over with the priest's gaze, past the slim quiet buzz with a deep with the cousin. I'll pulse. catch them all. None will escape me. That night? Okay. With the dust settled, all the other does before Pearl to wake up. It's a suspicion that occurred. The messenger behind Pearl was the sacrifice in the moment. The essence from the sacrifice that can cause dust to the smart squeeze of lens. Could the sacrifice have something to do with the Hollow Academy? And how the messenger of the master and the fault of the old were tied together? Hmm. Will and changing closer to the truth. Yeah, I mean, but after processing officer and even hijacked the close fellowship, the not falls we can handle alone. Look at where I got some solo allies. Absolutely, the clan heals Balabok Heavy Entity, Victoria House Chemical, the sons of Kalko, and maybe even Zhu Yang and Touching. With them on our side, we're not doing solo anymore. Second sisters, you forget the mission the most ever and powerful AI could be on all that I do. How do I forget about you, fairy? Thank you for your trust, Master. I'm here to help as always. Oh man, that was a bit cheesy, you two. It's late now, and I got the story one to all. Let's head to bed. Good night, Belle. Okay, chapter 4 has completed, so we're going to sleep. And that story wasn't that long, honestly. But it was a good cinema. I sent you bed, all the questions from the past day has hit your truck. Take some time to sleep. You certainly close your eyes. Before today, you hardly ever talk about what happened back then. Not even between you and your siblings. The memory of our fresh, like, like, teachers. We have already. It's more already. You might have dreamed, but it's all blurred now. You do have some have a good rest. Okay. Chapter 4 is complete, but I'm gonna do a little more of this while I end it there. We got- Why is the two- Anyways, Bell, is something going on? Don't worry, it will be fine. Uh, why is it standing out the door, Bell? Hey, oh, hey, why is you awake? When I opened the store, only there was a bunch of hands people outside. Almost made me jump. Hand people? They looked chill like they were just finished the mission. Now, I'm really curious about the details of the operation. Me too. Why don't you go check it out, Vice? Um, okay. What's going on? They want to talk to me? They sat the front door and now- <gasps> Oh, it's these guys. What do you want? Oh my, as it's been such a taste that you really took down new face on so soup. Come on and ask some noodles, I'm sorry for all of you. The meat is a good thing, but next thing you'll be in after, you can accept it. Alright okay, everyone, once you're done eating, let's fuck this up here. It's a still decision and it's been a long day, my brother. Please head home and get some good rest. Don't you have the report. Just drop it and leave a request on your own option to arrest an officer tomorrow. Woo! Going on the mission with Nagas is awesome! Free dinner and no paperwork! You took kind to be chief. I heard Sergeant 5 was still after the chase lead, but you're clocking out already, all thanks to you. Soon the HOS support could dis suppress. Mm, you are. It's been a while, Deputy Chef. Oh, it's you. Come on, sir. Do you have first? I remember you. You're the captain of the independent infant team doing the Hollow Zero mission. You have helped us a lot. Thank you. Just happy to be able to help. 
Yeah, no need to be so modest. I'm hoping that your team has been pretty at the Nihala seriously. The output summary has nothing but a price for you. Small words went into your heel, and you and your sibling run the video store down the street, right? Have I mentioned that before? I have, hope it wasn't too forward. I can enter from Sanchez, so it's my job to know my part as well. I apologize if that made you uncomfortable. Uh, it's okay, it's all part of working in a, a part operation. I appreciate your understanding, by the way. Mind if I swing by your store? I have some time off today. Maybe I should find a field thing. Of course. Okay. So now she's going to be saying, Do you guys some point? Uh, why do you want point these days? What is the next in the story? You got a great collection. Is it like to watch? I put on that book last night and I'm still feeling a glad. The movies under my brain will be perfect. Like small body big crisis? All books have been all burned with a cigar. You can only turn his own body. It's all the time to join. Huh? What's wrong? Oh, I just went after. I bought your bedroom last time. I'll depart up with assistant for the stern model. We gotta fill out the efficient form by tomorrow. I need to know that the form isn't the most of choice this time. He'll get busted the last bedroom to fill out the game. Oops, gosh, but I worked again to make Ben in this movie. It's triggered my words and I better look for something different. Uh, like the turbot? Sounds good. Watching people eat trigger a damper waste in her brain, and she will be talking care of the girl I'm living with, so I don't have to worry about her getting hungry after watching the show. Oh, maybe I'll even find a perfect spot for the get together with session 5 next month. Wait, you're talking about work again? Oops, sorry, at the last getting, I have to keep my cousin going with a lot of lines, and now it's a for awkward silence. I'm really tired of thinking about it. Uh, maybe the way toy is not for you. Oh, what do we that we need you videotape manager? You got a lot of these tapes in your story, is it popular? Just the question of, of job ads. Job is also an idea to get under the sun. Hmm, that would be useful for session 6. What would you need this for? We've been getting a lot of attention lately. The chief and the others have quite a fan base. We're still out flying it from people just getting close to them. And even close to the stool in the office. Great, how about this one? If it's good, I'll be playing the repeat the adventure waiting room. For work again? Well, not entirely. It could be fun to manage a first stop for a while watching job ads. Point the golf will be formed with a thin maid or something like that. <laughs> That's an odd piece of a dream. It's a form of videotape too? Well, it's hard to say no to the time benefits of Station 6, but joining Hand wasn't my first choice. Oops, time for another talk. The measure is going to be packed soon. Can you check me out, please? After watching the membership for Yank and saying her off. Huh? Oh, still, customer wise, why is we need you sitting at the counter? Oh no, she forgot the videotape. What are you talking about? Tell Belle what happened. Can't believe Debbie Chef said it for guests these two. She's off to the maples, wise. Maybe I can still catch up. Uh, by running? Wait! You forgot your videotape. Oh god. Hey. Oh god. Hey, what's up? Huh? What are you doing, you? You forgot your videotape. The videotape? Oh, hey, I forgot about it after getting the motion card. Thank you for bringing it to me. It's just that changing me feel totally relaxed. When, well, being part of the situation, I can afford to let my guard down, even off duty. Who knows? You might actually be a dangerous person. Uh, no, I'm not. Just kidding. Anyway, I'm glad I'm visiting your story today. Bye, manager. I'll be signed by Walton, but if you mean all so, I'll be happy to work with you. Yeah! Now back to Bell. Oh, it's done! Okay, good. Alright, I'm gonna go down. Like, subscribe, I'll see you there. Sayonara.